It's Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Pulse Audio Equalizer. So it's a little different on each, you know, on each operating system, but refer to the description, as I always say in these videos, we've got an easy to understand in-depth article on how to get this working for your Linux distribution. As for me, I'm using Arch, and as most things start on Linux, at least when I'm talking about them, we need a terminal. So the Pulse Audio Equalizer, at least on Arch, there are two different packages, maybe three. I've found the most success with this one. You may find success with the official one here. You may find success with this one here, maybe even this one. But I prefer to install this one. So I'm going to quickly install that. And it should be noted that even though this you know, this one has lad spot in the end. It's all the same. It all does the same thing. It's just, uh, for some reason, this one works great and this other one is iffy. And of course, as you can tell, this, this one here is in the official repos and this one is in the AUR community area. So now I gotta do is just build it, install it, and uh, we will get going. So now that I have it installed, all I have to do is launch it. As you can see, it says Pulse Audio Multiband EQ, and that's disabled. So to start off, I'm gonna search for a preset for my sound system. Now, I like to listen to a lot of different kinds of music in my Spotify app, so I'm going to set it to headphones. I'm almost always wearing headphones, so this makes the most sense. Now I click EQ enabled and then I click keep settings. Now these two checkboxes, the first one will obviously enable the equalizer and the second one will make sure it's always on. And then I just click the apply button. Now if I go into my mixer, which uh, if you don't know what this app is, Pulse Audio Volume Control, you can see that it's automatically switched over Spotify to Latspa plug-in multiband EQ on my uh, USB sound card. So now if I go into Spotify, which I was using, it will play. And uh, obviously you guys can't hear the music, but it plays exactly what I needed to play. And the equalizer is enabled. And if you want to change the preset at any time, you can go through and select any of these. So if I want to select live, I can go to live and it'll change and it does it in real time. I can do dance, I can do classical, keep it a headphone, so. And you can also make a custom one by just changing up some things, messing around with the uh, sound settings. And then you click save, type in the name of your preset, and uh, click save, and then it'll show up right down there. And uh, and that's it. That's how you get the Pulse Audio Multiband Equalizer working on your Linux system. Please, guys, don't forget to read the article because a lot of stuff that I didn't cover, such as how to install the program, is in that. And it would really help me out a lot. So that's going to be it for me today. I will see you next video.